Hello mga bata! My name is Ma'am Lara. Ang video ito ay tungkol sa types of proportion. Direct proportion, inverse proportion, at partitive proportion. Bago kayo magpatuloy sa panonood, ay panoorin muna ang video ito tungkol sa ratio at ito naman ay tungkol sa proportion. Direct proportion. As one quantity increases, the other quantity increases at the same rate and vice versa. Kung ang unang quantity natin ay pataas, dapat pataas din ang sumunod na quantity. Kung bumaba naman ang quantity, pababa din ang sumunod. Inverse proportion. As one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases at the same rate and vice versa. Kung ang unang quantity natin ay pataas, pababa naman ang sumunod na quantity. Kung bumaba naman ang quantity, pataas naman ang sumunod. In a partitive proportion, a whole is divided into parts that are proportional to the given ratio. Hahatiin natin ang kabuuan sa mga ratio na given sa ating problem. Para mas maintindihan nyo ang types of proportion, magkakaroon tayo ng mga examples. Example number 1. During COVID-19 pandemic, Barangay Poblacion distributed the relief goods to the 120 families and consumed 1,500 kilos of rice for 3 weeks. If there were only 1,000 kilos of rice, how long will the families consume this volume of rice? Okay, first is to understand and analyze the problem. And identify natin kung anong type of proportion. So, ito ay direct proportion. So, ayusin na natin siya as number of kilos of rice is to number of weeks equals number of kilos of rice is to number of weeks. So, ginamit natin ang fraction form. So, based dun sa ating problem, 1,500 kilos of rice kakasya sa tatlong linggo. 120 families ang maghahati. Paano kung ang number of kilos of rice ay 1,000 na lang? So, makikita natin na bumaba yung kilos of rice. So, ilang linggo na lang kakasya yung 1,000 kilos para sa 120 families. So, ito ay direct proportion. Kapag yung isang quantity ay bumaba, yung other quantity naman ay bababa din. So, paano natin ito isosolve? Cross, multiply. 1,500 kilos of rice times N equals 1,000 kilos of rice times 3 weeks. So, 1,500 kilograms times N is equal to 1,500 kilograms N equals 1,000 times 3 is 3,000 kilograms weeks. So, nilagay ko yung mga unit of measurement para makita nyo kung paano sila maika-cancel. So, para mawala si 1,500 kilos dito sa N, i-divide natin siya both sides by 1,500 kilograms. So, 1,500 kilograms divided by 1,500 kilograms is equal to 1. Kapag ang 1 katabi ni N, understood na may 1 na sa tabi ni N. So, hindi na sinusulat si number 1, matitira si N. And then, 3,000 divided by 1,500. So, dito, kinansin na natin yung kilograms. Matitira si weeks. So, the answer is, N is equal to 2 weeks. So, paano natin ito i-check? So, palitan lang natin si N kanina ng 2. Then, cross multiply ulit. 1,500 times 2 equals 1,000 times 3. So, 1,500 times 2 is equal to 3,000. Equals 1,000 times 3 is equal to 3,000. So, our value for N is correct. Number 2. 
Next example, during COVID-19 pandemic, it takes Michael 20 minutes to ride his bicycle at a rate of 20 km per hour from home to the grocery store. To shorten his travel time to 16 minutes for the same distance, how fast should he cycle? So, understand and analyze the problem and identify natin kung what type of proportion. So, lagay natin yung ratio, time is to speed equals time is to speed. So, lagay natin yung given, 20 minutes is to 20 km per hour equals 16 minutes is to N. So, based on sa problem, si Michael daw ay uh, nagbabike within 20 minutes, ang bilis niya ay 20 km per hour. So, paano daw kung maging 16 minutes na lang yung time? So, makikita natin nyo, 20 magiging 16, so bumaba siya. So, dapat ang bilis niya ay mas mabilis kaysa kay 20 km per hour kasi nabawasan na yung time. So, kung 20 naging 16 pababa, 20 is to n dapat pataas. So, ito ay inverse proportion. So, paano natin i-compute yung inverse proportion? So, ipagpapalit lang natin si 20 minutes kay 16 minutes. So, si 16 na ngayon, nandito. Si 20, nandito. Bago tayo mag-cross multiply. So, yung ginagawa natin sa direct, yun na yung gagawin natin ngayon sa inverse. So, una lang, kailangan lang natin silang pagpalitin ng pwesto. So, i-multiply na natin. 16 minutes times N. 20 minutes times 20 km per hour. So, nilalagay ko yung unit of measurement para makita nyo kung paano sila nawawala kapag tayo ay nagsasolve. So, 16 minutes times N is equal to 16 minutes N. 20 minutes times 20 km per hour is equal to 400 minutes km per hour. So, kailangan nating matira si N. Divide both sides by 16 minutes. So, 16 minutes divided by 16 minutes is 1 or N. Then, 400 minutes km per hour divided by 16 minutes. So, dito, cancel na natin yung minutes. So, 16 minutes N divided by 16 minutes is equal to N equals 400 divided by 16 is equal to 25. So, dahil dinivide na natin yung minutes, matitira si kilometer per hour. So, kailangan ni Michael ng 25 kilometer per hour para makarating siya doon sa grocery store within 16 minutes. So, check natin. Okay, ito na yung value ng N. So, 16 times 25 is 400. 20 times 20 is 400. 400 is equal to 400. Kapag ang checking nyo ay hindi naging equal, ibig sabihin yung value ng N or yung missing value nyo ay mali. So, kailangan nyo bumalik sa umpisa para i-check kung ano or saan kaya nagkamali. Next example, a glass of jar has 260 chocolates. Kevin, Harold, and Ivan will share the chocolates in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5. How many chocolates will each one of them get? Okay, so understand and analyze the problem. So this time, ito yung tinatawag na partitive proportion. So makikita natin dyan yung total and then yung partition. So, madali lang ma-identify yung partitive kasi uh, iba siya, iba yung problem niya kaysa dun sa direct and inverse. So, dito, makikita natin yung total which is 260 and then yung partition. Yung partition yung pagpaparte-parte ng mga tao dun sa total. So, ang ating partition is 2 is to 3 is to 5. So, paano malalaman kung kanino yung 2, kanino yung 3, kanino yung 5? Depende kung paano binasa ng pagkasunod-sunod yung pangalan sa given. So, dahil Kevin, Harold, Ivan, so magiging 2 yung kay Kevin, 3 yung kay Harold, kay Ivan. So, paano natin siya isa-solve? 
Una, yung partition, i-multiply natin by n. So, 2 times n is 2n. 3 times n is 3n. 5 times n is 5n. And then, i-add natin siya. Pag in natin yung partition, i-equate natin siya sa total. So, 2n plus 3n plus 5n is equal to 10n. Equals to 160. So, to get the value of n, divide both sides by 10. So, 10 divided by 10 is 1. 260 divided by 10 is 26. So, hindi, hindi ito yung pinaka-final answer. So, yan lang yung value ng n natin. So, ang gagawin natin sa so value ng n is like this. So, yung partition natin na 2n, 3n, 5n, ngayon may value na siya, kailangan na natin kunin yun. So, 2n or 2 times 26 is equal to 52. 3n or 3 times 26 is equal to 78. And then 5n or 5 times 26 is equal to 130. So, ito yung partition nilang tatlo. So, kay Kevin is 52 chocolates, kay Harold 78 chocolates, kay Ivan ay 130 chocolates. So, paano natin yan i-check? So, yung partition, equate natin sa total. So, 2n plus 3n plus 5n, or change natin yung value ng n which is 26. So, 2 times 26 is 52, 3 times 26 is 78, 5 times 26 is 130. 52 plus 78 is plus 130 is equal to 260. 260 is equal to 260. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and God bless. Kita kits ulit sa susunod na video. Bye-bye!